think it is indeed now main story time. Also, I really should buy the privateer outfit. Oh, we've got mission coming back. More missions coming back. Are they counting these in real time? Okay, I'll look in on the fleet as soon as I can dock somewhere. Oh, look. There's a... There's a contract order. Dark Pouch 2 is available. Okay. Crafting. Available. Where do you see Dark Pouch 2? Why are you telling me to craft when crafting isn't available? Muy, muy singular. Wait, there's no general store on this island, right? No. Anything I can upgrade the uh, ship with? No. Si me necesita, estaré por aquí. Wait, ¿En qué puedo ayudarlo hoy? Do I need ammo? No, all ammo is full. Can I craft now? Thank you. Dot pouch too. Five additional dots. Vuelve cuando quiera. Yeah, I like dots. I'm not gonna use this until stealth is necessary. Hey friend. Wanna go low profile? No, I wanna go on a contract. Difficult one. Greetings for the I am but a simple merchant. Ah, yeah, sink the fleet. I haven't sunk the fleet yet. Fine, let's sink the fleet. But before that, let's look in on my fleet. My fleet. First of all, the schooner. Say hey, bye bye. And we have brigs and frigates. Okay. Let's play the mini game. I need fire barrels, but guys, come on. It's a gunboat and a schooner. Someone has to have fire barrels. Good. Ah, 
now. Still no fireballs? Okay, 38 gemstones. And the repairs cost 32. A man of war. Take out the brigs and I'll barrel the man of war. My battleship! Let's see. The Hermione. This is a money. You missed? Come on. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. My biggest problem with this interface is that doing simple things like repairing ships takes so much animation. Everything is so much animation. HMS Oak. Two mana walls. I'm gonna see if that if that's easier next time. Do it. <coughs> It happens. Did 
This time we don't have 10 fireballs of entire game. I need to find better ships. <laughs> German said, missed. I think repairing costs more than 10. Okay, let's try this. Put the ship here. Just the one. Launch. Confirm. Let it fire once. Then abort. Now I bought the man award almost half. But when I go against a different battle. Okay. I can handle frigates. Take the frig. God damn it. Fire, 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 fire. Ah. Take out the frigate! Take out the frigate! No, you idiot! Shit! Ow! Is that the one at the bottom was supposed to take less damage? Okay, we got some money for it. Thirty four. That's ninety two. And a new ship.
If you're gonna take someone out, take one of the oaks. I only have one oak. Good. I think at the end I'm still on top on gems. Yeah, 1900. If you've shot the brig, you wouldn't have shot your back. It's like to design a game where every shot hits the strongest opponent. How would that work? Okay. 800, 900, 1000. This one has 1800. These ones are all busy. 2700, 3000. Bay of Biscay seems the best right now. Yeah, and these are all weak. Okay. Ah, uh, 70. I can't carry 70. I think I have can even carry 50. No, I can carry 50. Okay. Nothing I have can carry 70. Or fifty-five. I have one ship that carries fifty. I need better ships. The Victoria. The Victoria is a brig. This is also a brig with less storage capacity, more speed and less firepower. I really should look into that when I get them to join. So this can be done. But this can be done. 35. Only the frigates? Okay. You can carry the 10. So it's 5 hours real time? Not sure I understand this. I'll have to go look it up. Only carry 25. Fine, carry 25. Okay, yes, I'm sure. Let's get back to business. Three upgrades are available. What upgrades are available? Probably only appearances. Fine, upgrade the bron to, to the bronze wheel. I can spend a little bit of metal. 
sugar. No, nah, not gonna bother. I just changed the wheel, guys. Come on. Okay. Sink ships. That's it. We're not doing anything except sinking ships. What the hell? What are you shooting at? That's a brig. We are not engaging. We are joining our pals and going to sink some ships. doing over there? We're supposed to be sinking that ships. Hang on, those cargo. Starboard, floating booty there for the taking, sir. Fire! The mortar. Fire! Miss Fire! 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 Okay, one's down. Fire! Let's go expose the Fire! Ready to fire, sir! Let's grab some distance. Do not let her ram us to face! And turn, aim, and, and, fire! fire! And they're down. There's no reason not to take the whole cargo. the other one. So far not bad, only one motor shot used, no significant damage. And lock them in. Jumping in. Join me, you killed some of my men. 
Ooh, metal. Okay, now where are the others? Fine, how about you? God damn it. There wasn't supposed to be land here. Crowd on every inch of sail. Come on, you slugs, man those sheets! It is firing! Keep out of her way! She will ram us! Okay, here's the biggest one. Two down. Ready to fire, sir. Hang on, I need to dodge. Captain, look, Mortis. They're firepower. I have to fly. To, I have to go through here. Come on. Oh, you're picking up that cargo? Ghost the Royal, the top! Who's uh, top to fire? fire. fire. She's vulnerable now! Awaiting orders, sir! They're firing mortars! It's okay, we'll dodge them. Get away, sir! That beast will thunder us! Brief the top, sir, to gallant! He's the main muzzle of the gallant! I'm concentrating, you don't tell me what to do. Fire! 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 No. Reload! Won't miss next time. Ready to fire, sir! Fire! Fire! They're on the ball line, that's where the most fire! 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 Captain, fire mortars, Captain! Yeah, mortars are a good idea. I'm concentrating you. Let's ram it. Bring it in. Damn, it's a big ship. Why can't I aim further up? Beat them back! Come on! Hit me. Don't hit me.
Okay, kill the flag. Come on, move. Drop, drop, run. Oh, I lose any more men. What do you have? Metal? No, I need the metal. Grappling hooks away! Let's do the prize! That's a cannonball to the head. You can go to my fleet then. I'll use you for gemstones. Get the main salt into the wind. No, no, other way, other way. What do you have? Wooden cloth. I'm just gonna ram you. Contract complete. Get up to planks! Now, do you have any other contracts I need to do? No. Complete. That's a naval drop. That's a naval drop. Yeah. Um, Tulum, complete. My next task is here, so let's... Let's travel here. Here and take out that fort. Oh, take out the Royal Navy, the naval convoy. Loose and catch the wind. Excuse me. Oh, 
Hang on. Oh, we got a hunter. Great. Let's just give it a gentle nudge. Quickly. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Hunter's coming. No, you're going to the fleet. to lower the wanted level. Hi, Angel, is that your name? Close down, Gallants! And this is a frigate. We'll be the death of you. This is coming with me. Give me some speed! Put your sovereign! Come on. Well, 
I need to go here. Come on. The red wig. My wood, metal, common dust. My ship. My fleet. A fine addition to the fleet. That's a British frigate. Unfold mains, let's move. Yeah, let's Get take that one too. So much better than you. <laughs> Pull them down to hell, lads! Destroy powder reserves, sure. Okay, that was two powder reserves. Come on, I was about to get you. Why can't I counter correctly? Off to my fleet. Okay. Now, I need to take a fort. Frigate, run. Well, if you're here. Turn, goddammit, turn! I'm concentrating.
Turn, turn. Keep the four men. Stand down. Let's get moving. Lose all. Party like. I'm going against the wind in a storm. Trim the yards off the wind. Pull them in with a well. Kill officers. How nice of you to be together. Yes. You are going to my fleet. Let out some sail. The catcher. Crowd on every inch of sail. More ships I have, more missions I can do, more money. No travel speed in storms. That's the most important thing right now, right? Yes, closest thing will allow me to fast travel. into the fog. Look, Captain! The sea rises against us! Spout? You see a spout? I don't see a spout. What's with the huge yellow circle? Sir, to starboard looks like booty. I see it. Can I hit that already? Damn, that's a lot of targets. Fire! 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 Fire!
Give me that. God damn it, shoot! Okay, first of all, let's sink all the other ships. They're just schooners. Douse. Wooden sugar. I'll pick up the rest later. The pirate had to more sail. All sail. Ride the wind. Ease the spanker. Hold down. Bring us in. Douse all sail. All hearty lads. Fill those mains. Okay, first chest. Why the hell is it up there? Fragment over there. Come <laughs> on! 
Close the wall. Yeah, you surrender. You and me? This is gonna get personal. <clears throat> point, 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 point. Ooh, we got whale hunting. And the legendary ship. Humpback whale. Let's talk Harbour Master. You require my services. First of all, ammo. Uh, five bells aren't necessary. Motor strength, swivel strength. I'm thinking swivel strength is more important. Gray sails. Sure, gray sails. Well concluded. Blind justice. You have been afforded the rare chance of being the instrument of righteousness and justice. Criminal masquerading as a captain sails aboard a British man of war. The chances against him are too long to list, and that you will be a hero if you can board his ship and end his felonious life. I would also like to have a man of war. Look at the British man of war. Sheesh. Where is it? Where's the contract? Every last scrap of duck on the wind. Stone Zeus, let's <clears throat> Yeah, take out the hunter. Shoot the hunter. Ready to fire, Captain. Uh, no need to fire. Gonna hit nothing. They sank. Wait. So what's that place? Il vache. Something about a cow. Special la vache. Special la vache. You break your tooth and old Horus Nari. Yeah, going too fast. Sorry. Oh, Captain! Break some of our in the war, Captain! No, it's too late. Sink. A man of war. Careful, Captain! This water is supposed to be watched by our enemies. Three bricks. This area of water is huge. Let's try and avoid them, or I'll just shoot them. 
No. Get some distance. I just want your cargo. Hi. Wood metal cloth. Now, board the British man of war. Oh boy. trying hang on hang on hang on Sink the ship. Can I have it in my fleet? Our force patrol. Trim the yards off the wind. Don't tell me about the restricted area. I know. I think it's my first actual boarding man of war. Kill. Who? What else do we have? Okay, let's go. Got 
God damn it, why can't you aim? Taking this ship. Lots of wood, lots of metal. I'm taking this ship. Uh Naval contract complete. Ah, three mana walls defeated. Now I'm being hunted. Okay, I can go back here for another contract. I can go to Lavesh. Let's save Lavesh for later. Pick up the chest, hunt, chest, main mission. The Queen Anne's Avenge. Nothing else? Let's go. Next target, I'm back while hunting. But let's help our friendos, shall we? So that's Pirate Boy. Wooden cloth. Fire! You have the duty for Christ! We're gonna hit them! We're down on the ship, can we? Fire! That's where the most is! Cannon ready! Fire! Hang on. I saw it. They are firing, sir! That one did some damage. Race! Fire! This ah! is right ah! there, Fire! Ready to spit fire! fire! That's what I'm 
Can't tell. It seems metal. You guys all right? I want to take your metal. Bring them in, I can barely aim. What news? Ah, oh, god damn it. Sorry, but this had to be done. Give me some speed. We have looted some goods useful for upgrading the ship, sir. I know, that's why I did this. This is a frigate with a wooden cloth. You have to name all the sails. Get those clues up. Yo, heave ho! Heave, Okay, animation dishes. Grab the thing, climb the thing, come on. Sugar. And that is a focus. With metal. With lots of metal. Well, I'm going whale hunting first, so. Ooh, whales! Hopefully, it'll stay there when I'm done whaling. It's the hump bug! It's the hump bug! Let's move! Call in the stuntsel! That's hunt lads! It's a hump bug! It's there! Well. Okay! 
He's a slippery bastard! Damn it! Come on! Watch it! The tail! You're hit, Cap! Show me yourself! Damn it! It's a hit! <clears throat> okay. Where are you, you bastard? Not a bastard, it's just time to live. It's turning the sea red. You see that, lads? Ha! Before he snaps that tail. One more, and we're done. We're oh! done now. Today, sir. Where did the frigate go? Hmm. Okay. Uh, that chest. Crowd on every inch of sail. Crowd on all the sail we have. I'm in sugar. Not in my way. Captain has the helm. Loose main sail! <coughs> Look at Metal. Fire! Yeah! Hey! Beat quarters! Awaiting your mind, Captain! Fire! Fire! Taking a puppet, Captain! Fire! I'm 
taking your cargo and I'm taking your ships. to go to the to that place yeah they are so much smoke crowded all on I know she's a good sailor now prove it my trumps yeah that's how you get firebells What do we have there? Forget metal. I want it. A little humpback whaling. Whoa! Is that a man of war? You come to me. Oh, yes. That's bloody mist. Ready to spit, sir. Fire. 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 That's the man of war, sir. Yes, I want it. Seems to be alone, sir. Fire. We're not done. We're far from done. Fire! 
Ah, damn it! Way took me out. Oh my god, there were two men of war there. Down they go. Home back Fine, let's take the hump back. Floater. As much strain as you can. Loose tops, loose gallons, and royals. <clears throat> and last the harpoons. Ready, lads? Where is he? Hawkins, he's a slippery bastard. Tire yourself out. Success! Get him before he snaps that tail! The beast is hurt! It's a hit! Damn it! Nice one! We've lost him! Yeah, it was to be expected. Anyone hear that? thing well done captain I can make a pistol holster three okay let's go down On my left, there's just more uncharted territory. But I need to take this. <coughs> Cumberland Bay. Still a lot of places to explore. This is 623-172. Kingston. Yeah, I'm going to this location. What did it... You need to do that. Nice little place. Yes, let's craft a pistol holder. Pistol holder two. Yes. I only craft those when I really, really need to. Great white shark, Hutia, rabbit. Black Jaguar, Great White, White Whale, Red Howler. Now I have four. Ooh, big place. Let's grab this first. So these are the drunk pirates. Lose the lawman, no, I'm good. Shanty? Shanty. <laughs> this 
This one's called Roll and Go. Charles Vane. Born 1680. Common refrain in any biography of a Golden Age pirate goes something like this. Very little is known about this man's early life, and with Charles Vane it's no different. We don't know where he was born, or where he grew up, or when he first took to sea, but maybe that's just as well if it further heightens the mystery of this strange, unstable man. Surely one of the most ordinary, ordinary and unstable of the flying gang, the band of pirates who called Nassau their home for a time. Charles Vane began his career, like most pirates of the era, honestly, as a privateer, sailing for his king. Likely living in Jamaica in 1715, he was one of, the many, of many aboard Henry Jennings' assault on a Spanish expedition to, uncover, to recover the gold from their ill-fated wreck in 1715 off the coast of Florida. Early a year later, it had become impossible to keep up honest work as a privateer as British governors were skittish about breaking the terms of the Treaty of Utrecht, which called for a cessation of all aggression between the major empires. Having few other options, Vane sailed to Nassau, where many of his former colleagues were now living. Quick to anger and ferociously mean, Charles Vane quickly earned himself a reputation as a difficult captain to sail under at some point in 1717 or 1718. An old friend, Calico Jack Rackham, joined his crew as quartermaster. The two remained partnered for some time, living and working out of Nassau with the likes of Benjamin Hornigold, Ed Thatch, and Henry Jennings. Edward Thatch, born 1680, England, known variously by different sources as Thatch, Teach, Teach, Thash, Teach, Teach, Peck, and more. We are fairly certain this Edward was born in around Bristol and took to the sea at an early age, most likely in his teens. It is also speculated that he arrived in the West Indies quite soon after leaving England. This was indeed the case. Ed Thatch could have seen his fair share of the war Spanish secession, a uh, protracted fight within most of the empires of Europe that pitted Britain against royalist Spain and France. In these early years, from 1700 to 1713, he would have been a privateer, or at the very least a merchant seaman, doing his part for the crown, Queen Anne at the time. But with the Treaty of Utrecht, restoring peace upon the troubled Europe in 1713, Thatch and his fellow sailors would have found themselves far from home and out of work. They thus turned to piracy as a means of sustaining themselves. In the ensuing year, years, Thatch befriended a captain named Benjamin Hornigold and soon after joined his crew as quartermaster at some point between late 1714 and early 1716. Setting, settling in Nassau, Thatch, Hornigold and the rest of the flying gang, as these pirates called themselves, began cooking up schemes far larger than most pirates of the era dared dream. Wanting nothing less than a country of their own, they worked to turn Nassau into a place of liberty and freedom for all who desired an escape from the bonds of imperial rule. Just a second, this could be important. Okay, I need to take a break. Quick break. Hopefully be right back. Sorry about the... Uh, apologize for the delay. My wife needed something very important. Do I have crafting to do? No. Catch and loot the courier. I, I was running after him. Thank you. Are you really wrong, sir? <laughs> Watchtower. The precarious position of Kingston at the center of both colonial wars and piratical activity required watchtowers to give as much warning of an attack as possible. Calico Jack Rackham. Ah, okay. 
Born 1682, Jamaica. Of the few infamous pirates to call the West Indies his birthplace, Jack Rackham was born in Jamaica at the height of Port Royal's boom as a den of scoundrel. This would likely explain his atrophied moral compass, for he was frequently drunk, rarely serious about anything, and always chasing women. He used this outrageous and offensive charm to keep out of most trouble, but a strategist and a fighter he was not. Nicknamed Calico for his affinity for Indian and Asian prince, he was a terrible sailor and a war pirate. Given the flights of fancy and myopic ideas that served only himself rather than solid strategic thinking, he was likely drunk for half of his adulthood and had a weakness for women that trumped all basic needs, such as sleeping or eating. His disarming charm, dashing good looks, and his swift wit carried him far, but parties can only last so long before someone has to clean up after them. Jing Lang Born 1686, died 1717. Born to Chinese rebels, Jing Lang became, uh, came into the world fighting, but survived to become a skilled diplomat with a flair of, for languages and a taste for discovery. Ambitious, Lang married the son of a general in the Qing, uh, in the Qing dynasty, joining in the Templ Templar Order, but severing ties with the family in the process. She served as a diplomatic advisor until a shift in political ties provoked her escape into piracy. Over the next decade, she crossed every sea, developing a reputation for brutality that preceded her into most conflicts. In the West Indies, she fell under the spell of a rumored cash of treasure and feigned a romantic relationship with one-time assassin Vance Travers to gain access to it. She might have been successful had it not been for Travers' brother Upton, an assassin who schemed to have her killed, betraying his brother in the process. She died at the age of 30. Note, I'm getting a whiff of sociopaths on this one. Takes one to no one. Just kidding. Please don't kill me. I wonder how many other fiancés she's had. Come on, climb. Climb! Really? Okay, I want to buy... That's a Harbour Master. That's a General Store. I want to buy a new... Wait, Fast Travel? I want to buy a new suit. There is no sword set I can buy that is better than what I have. There is no pistol set I can buy that is better than what I have. Maybe the slower range I have stun. You know what, let's try those, I have the money. Ammunition is full. I want the pirate captain outfit, the privateer outfit. Pieces of art. Sure. Sell the cargo. Sell the rum. Not selling materials just yet. Buy hunting goods? Capuchin monkey. 
think I need one. Lutia, I need two. I like the fact that you can buy the materials if you have the money. Iguana, Howler, Monkey, I'm not sure. Ocelot, I don't think so. Jaguar, Pelto, this gets, this gets expensive. Let's see. Good day and fortune favor you. Health upgrade needs two great white shock bomb. Smoke bomb pouch. Smoke bomb pouch. I need more, one more white whale skin and a red howler monkey skin. Let's do red howler monkey. And black jaguar belt. That's a regular holy monkey. Damn. Yeah, get me two of those. Just for outfits, I'll buy it myself. I'll get it myself. Great white shark bone. Basically, I just need a great white shark bone. Four of them. Don't sell the, wh the white whale skin or the white chug of it. Don't sell anything that's white. White on the hammer, a chalk bone. I don't think that's easy to get. No bones I need. Full shark I don't need. Okay. Okay. My thanks. Return any time. Come on, dude. Up. Up. Uh-huh. I need to get to the roof of this building. how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kemmer, you run this scheme alone at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. Can you hold on for the appeal? The Sage is Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay my blade for a time, but not long. There's a lot of sand in each man's in share. But all these... No! You can see! Oh, it's like the area. Yeah. 
We have to stay out of those like the Delia. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Much has changed in that short time, you know. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. Ah, kill gunners. Okay, I can kill gunners. I think. They're on the way. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Convert them? God knows, Taurus. There's none here so foolish as them. What are you doing? When you come back here, you What are you doing? Oh my god. Jim, hold off for God's sake. Edward, what the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the sage. Can you hold off till he appears? The sage is here. Aye, and Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay my blade for a time, but not long. Okay, so I need to kill gunners. I need smoke bombs. it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? That. Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Ah, see. Much has changed in that short time. Much has changed in that short time. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. <coughs> ah, oh, sorry. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ah, convert them? God knows, Tyrus. There's none here so foolish as that. We're losing ground. Look there. Get him. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? That's only one go now. We are nearly there. In my sights, clear as day. He's dead in my sights. I can get him from here! Hear my sights, clear as day! Shake! Of all the bad days! That's kid. What? We've a bush sneak! Stand your ground, slave, and face corporal punishment like a man! Why act like a man now? When you have denied me that right for 30 years! I find your bearing appalling, Prince. 
I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Truly many talent and intelligence should lead. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So I follow. Where is the gun now? Watch for your step, boy! <laughs> for virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? Oh, Taurus. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. Other stories about you, Trusha. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have a politician myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. <laughs> Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous Come waste on. of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this war. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um, you say you came alone, Taurus? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. <laughs> passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time. No. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet Yeah, spot. don't you want to see the sage? I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed. Deal with this. Hi. Ah. You cocked up my kill, Kenway. For a better cause. What have you 
You lost your chance, man. I'm going after Prince. Kate, no! <sighs> Jim, stop! Not this time, Kenway. I'm be dancing this. Yeah. this is... Come on, man! We can work this together! You have your chance. What are you doing? Move. Stay your blade, kid. Wait. Jim, stop. There's a killer here. Help, guards. Guards to me. <sighs> Lost your chance, man. I'm going after move, this. move, move. Kid, no, Jim, stop. Not this time, Tim. Come on, man. We can work this together. You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid. Wait. Jim, stop. <laughs> Damn it, old scratch. Keep your natty hands off me. I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves. And here I find not one, but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. Don't you want the now sage? Take the sage. You're helping me take Prince. Got that? Yeah, just one shot. All right. <clears throat> Parish Church. Wherever English settlers, merchants, or sailors reached substantial numbers, a parish church generally followed. These charming practical meeting houses dotted the Caribbean, providing peace and community to the colonials. Oh, really? Lawrence Prince. Born 1630s Amsterdam, died 1717. Lawrence Prince, often anglicized as Lawrence Prince, was a Dutchman from Amsterdam who spent the majority of his life in and around the West Indies. Operating out of Port Royal, Prince saw an incredible amount of action and adventure in his long life. How much is that? 87. Sailing as a privateer in the early days of the Golden Age of Piracy, 1650s, he developed a reputation for courage fighting the Spanish on behalf of the British crown, sometimes bearing a letter of mark, often without. He even played a pivotal role in Sir Henry Morgan's infamous raid on Panama in 1671, for which he was ra roundly celebrated. Prince eventually retired from privateering and settled in a large acreage of land in Jamaica. It must have been around this time that he entered into the slave trade as a means of bolstering his wealth, an occupation he pursued well into his 70s. In 1717, his flagship slave galley, the Wider, was attacked and captured by the pirate Black Sam Bellamy. Prince managed to survive the encounter and fell back into his old occupation until his death some months later. Come on. Why make it complicated? Rough. 
Well, is that fragment? Over there. No. Why does synchronize and drop have the same fucking key? It's fucking made for consoles. Drop. Drop. Contract. A faction of pirates clamped near the church has been smuggling illegal goods in the heart of the city to the wrong people. Kill the leader. Stay out of combat. Now with that, I can easily stay out of combat. Take the shot. Another contract. Actually, let's take the chest first. I've got a shot. Give up by your heart. Open it. Then get out. I love it that it does that. British captain, we have confirmed that a certain British officer is terrorizing the villagers with his unit. He can usually be found near the port. Smuggler Upton, born 1688. Upton Travers was born in England in 1688, two years ahead of his brother Vance Travers. Together they traveled to the West Indies in search of their fortune, which they established in the form of a smuggling business, which they used to fund their growing involvement with the Assassin Brotherhood. Although Vance was more, the more charismatic of the two Assassin Brothers, Upton made up for it with his measured, sensible responses to life's challenges. 
However, every man has a breaking point. Upton found his after Vance took up with the Chinese pirate queen, Jing Lang. A Templar attempted to steal the treasure on which they had staked their retirement before finally attempting fratricide. Depressed, Upton turned to alcohol, which may have been a factor in his retaliation. He ultimately had both Jing Lang and his brother dispatched by one of his assassins. Smuggler Vance, born 1690, died 1717. Born in England, the passionate, creative, yet incredibly gullible Vance Travers found a life for himself among the Assassin Brotherhood in the West Indies, where he ran a successful smuggling enterprise with his older brother Upton. Business took a turn for the worse after he met and fell in love with the Templar Jing Lang, who persuaded him to divulge knowledge of the location of buried treasure with which he and Upton planned to fund the retirement. Paranoid, Travers developed delusions that his brother plotted to steal his treasure and Ching's heart. He broke from the creed and after a failed attempt at fratricide was killed by Edward Kenway. This is a soap opera. Maybe we could work it from Ching's perspective. Maybe we could. Look at his face, all! He's the visage of a man who climbs above his station! Look! Oh well, I did stay out of combat. How the hell do I get that? That's a general store. That's a treasure. Cargo. <coughs> Some cargo. Okay, I need this area mapped. Targeting anything. Ah, the key holder. In a minute. Okay, warehouse is down there. Now I want to infiltrate quietly. Yeah, let's try and do this one quietly. First of all, disable the alarms. Up! Damn it, up! Up! Are you gonna fall over? Please fall over. Oh, you gotta go. 
No. Why is rollover and loot the same button? And there it goes. Any other alarms nearby? Not that I can see. So I need to get the key holder. Someone's talking to me? That guy's walking, that guy's walking, and turning back, and turning away, and key holder. I think I need to kill that guy. Yeah, there's someone up there. Yes. Shit! Alarm! 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 Oh. Help me, damn it! He's at the door, he's turning away. I walk after him, quick like. I'm taking the key and I'm gonna loot the warehouse. And he's gonna keep them busy. Nothing? Nah. Wait, there are two warehouses? Fine, we're looting this. Wood, metal, cloth, rum, sugar, excellent. No bells. Hello. People watching. Uh, there's a cargo over here. And the chest over there. I think I might have enough, enough for an upgrade. Stand where you are! Time to join the chorus, Celeste. Got a line on him. <coughs> Keep him in sight! I see him! There! <coughs> <coughs> Attack your concert! <coughs> 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 Whoa, big guy. Smoke bombs, bullets. Nah. Okay, now this chest.
now this Pablo Master. How might I find your favor today? I want to buy ammunition, motor shots, and I want to upgrade my jackdaw with better bullets and cannons. Yeah, I think so. Better broadside cannons. 21 broadside cannons per side. Next time I need elite. And the motor I can still upgrade until I need elite. By the way, I was. God damn it, spare me. Spare me, go away. I've seen this a hundred times. It's unskippable. Business okay. well concluded. Now, I'm at 623, 172. 623, 172. Close, but no cigar. Yeah. Then the general store. Cargo? No, not now. Uh, piece of art. Sure. Just wasting money. Ah, give. Then cargo. Thank you. That was fun. Some nice exercise. Then this chest from here. What the hell is it? Then, this manuscript from here. And if you got some stuff, Vertumnus <coughs> portrait of today. It's a person made out of fruit. A magnificent story portrait of the Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II, painted in the 16th century by the singular Giuseppe Archimboldo. Boldo, note what appears to be a Paris German Ponica bloom in a four taken from the collection of Peter Beckford. Very weird. Kingston. In 1692, devastating earthquakes destroyed Port Royal, Jamaica's major city at the time. In desperation, refugees assembled nearby in a tent city that was eventually to become Kingston. In 1703, what was left of Port Royal was burned to the ground by pirates, and Kingston quickly grew to become a major city in its own right. Today, it is a diverse, sprawling, and raucous city, far from the results of the north of the island. Now, this chest. <laughs> I 
And this contract. How many contracts? Six. I got a psychotic slave trader. I've been spotted doing his own business in the house of the city. Kill him. Roger that. What was that from the Animus? Never mind. I'm trying to climb on this pole. Don't say a word. Every minute we tarry is a waste of time and breath. Who are a puncher? Quiet. God damn it. Fine. Smoke. Damn it. Got. Welcome to the West Indies, lady. Standard training up. Training up. The shanty is over there. Sink before the mission. Oh, look, general store. Let's buy a piece of junk. Good for. 
Fortune attends you. That's a nice big door. So, what are we doing? <clears throat> Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? <laughs> I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. <laughs> There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? Yeah. We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. Sure. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. What? Ready? Your name's not James, is it? I knew it. Not most days. Come on. What do we have? Okay. If you see Prince before I do... Kill him, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right. I knew it. How is it you're a woman? Christ, Edward. Is that something that needs explaining? Now, I'm here to do a job. I'll let you be amused later. I knew it from the start. Come on, it's easy. Yeah, stay out of trouble. You're right. Slipped away from what I heard. Prince ain't too happy neither. Yeah, let's use sleep dot on this. What about me? Don't put on you know anything about me. Ah. Use Berserk Dark, use Sleep Dark. Ah, okay. Berserk Dark on Brutes. Is that a Brute?
could have gone home with her if I hadn't been so mean. But we had a row, and I said something nasty about the Pope. That's a bit daft, isn't it? You know she's Catholic. Yeah, I know she's Catholic. I didn't know the Pope was. I didn't know the Pope was. Where was the other gunner? Stand at the edge. Stand at the edge. Stand at the edge. Stand at the edge. Come here. He's out of fucking range. I don't need them to wake up and shoot me in the middle of something. people that I see on the map but don't see in real life. You! Get away. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm right here, I'm not going anywhere. help them. Out of range. 
Oh, there you are now. Yeah, her name is not James Kidd, obviously. And like doll. <laughs> Those kid over there. Any sleep belts, maybe? Where? 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 Goddamn bugs. Oh, finally, you appear. No one has doubts. Hold! Stand your ground! Please! I've been shot! I need aid! Christ, Thompson, look at her! She's hurt! Dreadfully, sir! I'm poorly! All right! I'm faint! Take an arm, lass! Bless you, lads! <laughs> Nice move. Lawrence Prince's Manor. Lawrence Prince was an incredibly successful slave trader who spent the better part of his 80 years transporting human cargo from the west of Africa to the West Indies. Near the end of his life, he lived in semi retirement on land he purchased near Kingston. One of his most active slave ships, the Wider, was famously captured by the pirate Sam Bell Bellamy. Note, do we have to mention slave trading is such a downer? It's kind of part of the history of the region. Yeah, but folks want to have fun, right? Not think about social injustice and stuff. Sugarcane was introduced to the Caribbean Basin by Christopher Columbus. It thrived throughout the islands. Indigenous Tainos in Cuba, Cuba were constructed to harvest the cane. Once harvested, the cane was taken to sugar mills to be washed, shredded, then repeatedly crushed to produce sugar. Columbus was quite an entrepreneur. And like Henry Ford after him, it's hard to say whether it's his influence was in it positive or negative. Water mills are more reliable and more efficient technologically than windmills, but regions such as the islands of the Bahamas and the Caribbean lack in rivers often turn to wind power, especially in the 1700s when windmill construction became well understood. Boy, Marlo, Mr. Prince says to keep your eyes peeled tonight. This is some man if I spent on making trouble. I'll spread the word! Locate Lawrence Prince. Hey, asshole, come here. And on top of that is a sink point. Kill him! Kill him!
and walking into a wall. Good enough. Wait, what was the chest? In the building. Out of range. No, not so here. I love Berserk Darts so much. Come on! Hello! Help me, damn it! Quicker! Idiots trying to lose us! Hello! Help me, damn it! This is where the shots fire! Come on! Suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Well, I do it by killing assholes, and you do it by trading people. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. <laughs> well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Robert! Let's move, can we? Run! See you on the other side. You come back here, you mad man! in my sight, <laughs> sweet Lisa! Nice. Shot. I have a bunch of trees here for me. Oh, come on, shot. move! Move! And shoot from here.
That's for the hell of it. <coughs> Clear that path for me. Hi, Cal. Hi. Oh really? Try and stop me. I've a clear shot. Oh, I want a cool place to hide. Never mind. Wait, is the warehouse full again? No, it isn't. I'm just a regular person. Where are you pointing? You want me to specifically hide over there? Okay. Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. I don't know how no one noticed until now. Let's do a contract. The judge, Cobb Jones living in Port Royal, has sent one too many innocent men to the gallows. Find and kill him. But to reach that target... Well, what is that? It's not on this island. Well, you're not on this island. It's kind of on this island? What? Fast travel. Fast travel.
Why is the thing I marked unmarked? Move along there. <laughs> How about I stab you in the throat instead? What? I'd hide here. What are you guys doing? Fine, whatever. I'll take that. And let's kill a Templar with an X. The Maroon Assassin. Is it AC's Red Hood? What do you want, Englishman? Mm. Edward Canway. I'm here to warn you of danger. And I'm Welsh. <laughs> you all look the same to me. Why should I need your warning? My life is all danger. I may have brought it on you. <laughs> this means you owe me. Yep. As it happens, I could use a man to help free some of my friends. Slaves, you mean? Brothers. Warriors. The hope of the Maroon. Doesn't sound like my business, mate. All I need is for you to mingle with your countrymen. Listen to hints for where my friends are held. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Uh, can I bring my axe? Where is my axe? Let it go, man. And then he dismissed me without pay for drinking. Who would have thought it? Targets. Some such. Well, what did he do? Does he need to do anything? Hey, now isn't that just the truth? Walls 
have ears if you know what I mean. Are we followed? We must warn the others. <laughs> God damn it, what are you running to? the information I need, mate. No! I've heard of your kind. Assassin! Don't hurt me! All I want to know is where this slave is. Do you know of anyone being held? Especially... Please! Let me live. My wife and children. Come on, then. Out with it. Look near the windmill. See? Was that so hard? Um... Maroons. I found your men. And I found where his brothers are kept. Help me release them. No, mate. I've settled my debt. Meddling with slaves is none of my affair. I doubt there's even a Templar behind it all. All affairs of freedom are assassins' affairs. What is your price? What? A man without principle must be moved by coin. How much do you need? There is a key I'm looking for. Belongs to a set I've been stripping off Templars. The Templar keys? I thought they'd been destroyed. I'm not the only one who knows about them, then. If we find it, it's yours. You have a deal. Let's go get your friends. There's always a Templar involved. Play the slaves. I'm gonna flank them. What's this? Only survivor? Only captive? You didn't lose the battle. How can we win when the dogs fall up in the mountains? They just died in caves and wait. He is coming every time. Thank you. Hurry, to my bureau. Let's go. What are we waiting for? Up! The hell? Come on. What the hell? Is that really no, it isn't. I thought it was, but it was stupid. men and they we couldn't even see them to count them oh uh, man you're free to go at last go to the bureau hang on You 
must exercise caution. The area will be well guarded. Of course it will be. Take your position. Wait. Hey, over here! What are you doing? <laughs> Have a grenade. Bastards in the sights! So much for well guarded. Yeah, that's it. Dude, you can go. Thanks. Meet me at the bureau. We're done. And he disappeared. Where to next? <laughs> That's enough work for one night. Or do you grow fond of it? That's it. No Templar. What about the key? The Templar did not show himself. You will have your key next time. No, Anto, there is no next time. <laughs> when you discover your conscience, or admit how badly you want the key, there will be a next time. Was the kill you? Kills are very good. <coughs> Whoa, he is quick. What the hell? Dude, where was the speed coming from? Whoa! He's a pirate! He's the pirate! He's a pirate! He's the pirate! He pirate, that's nice. Let's talk. You return. Have you brought your conscience? I want my key. Patience is a virtue. Uh, right now it isn't. Expecting company. You may have your key sooner than you think. Help us defend the Bureau. The men we freed will help. It is too quiet. I do not trust it. There will be more of them. In the mouth, there will the be. Next wave. Advance! Another one. 
These are evil times. Best not stay here. Stop him! Cut him off! What? 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 Retreat! Another way from the south! This will be easy. Not too many already. Unless the more of them you kill now, the less effective they will be in the next week. I'll beat the bitch, Jason. <laughs> Well, too late. Another wave from the west. There are so many left. This will be difficult. That wasn't that difficult. Edward, I am glad you showed up when you did. I'm sorry I have no key to give you, but... No, the key can wait. Whoever did this... I want to teach them a lesson. Growing a conscious, are we? Edna's name is Kenneth Abraham. He's part of an ongoing war with the Maroons. But we have held strong and will not be defeated. Let me devise a plan. That is a hollow monkey. Why can't I fast travel there? Okay, shanty. Come on. What the hell is it doing? Come on! Yeah. Okay, now there's another one. Cheerly man. Ento. Born 1670. Born to the Ashanti tribe. The Ashanti? Ah. Oh. I was thinking the Ashari. Uh, in the Econ region of West Africa, Anto was sold into slavery as a young man and sent to Jamaica. He soon escaped with the help of the legendary warrior Cujo and founded a maroon company ne community near Kingston. There he quickly established a good relationship with the local traders and began coordinating plantation raids for to free slaves and build an army. Although he ran the assessment bureau, Anto's previous priority was always to free slaves from captivity. His name translates to born after the death of his father. Nice little tidbit though. Mary Reed. Born England. Of all the infamous West Indies pirates, Mary Reed stands out as one of the most mysterious and inscrutable. No one is sure when she was born, with most speculation ranging almost, over almost a decade, between 1685 and 1695. According to Charles Johnson, a frequently unreliable source, her mother began dressing Mary in boys' clothes from a very early age, with the hope of passing her off as another man's son. Note, not sure how this will play with average audiences. Have we ever done a market survey on cost dressers? In her teens, Mary evidently harnessed her skill for disguise to secure a job aboard a ship, taking to sea. She walked her way forward until she found a position in the British Navy. Still disguised as a man, she saw action in battle, though owing to the conflicting reports of her birth, we cannot be certain of the battle. It was during these skirmishes that Mary met her first husband, so the author of the general history of pirates claims a Flemish soldier who had evidently fought beside her, but this union was not fated to remain intact as Mary's husband was killed soon after their marriage. 
With few reasons to remain in Europe, Mary sailed for the West Indies. It is unclear what transpired in the years following, but it is almost certain that, that she resumed the practice of dressing as a man. We also assume Mary continues walking aboard ships, improving her skills as a sailor and swordsman. By 1715 or 1716, it was likely she had visited her fellow sailors in Nassau, though perhaps not for the same reasons. Okay. I'm coming! Ow. Damn it, he's out of range, but in range. I can get him from here. No, you can't. No, you don't. He's training, you dumb cow. Can I sink? No, it's too far away. And three hours and thirty minutes in. Uh, let's do the Templar hunt. Oh, I can sink. It's over there. Next time, Templar hunt first. The commander's ruse. I have a plan, but it won't be easy. Abraham is well connected and his pockets are deep. But we have located a man in his inner circle. We will tail him until he reveals our target. Let me bring him to his end. Here he comes now. Pity to not be invited to see us celebrate before our victory. Quiet. <laughs> so I want to kill him. Don't shoot innocents. Thank you. Greetings. My service to you. Good evening. Will the commander be in attendance? Yes. I was just speaking with him. He's here somewhere. The Pratt was right under our noses the whole time. If we can even identify him. <clears throat> Okay, going stealth. You keep them busy. I also want to disable that alarm. Earthquakes, man. The exact 
from the veins and gaps and caves and fishes made by us. <laughs> Cockpit! Help me, damn it! <laughs> Give us the upper hand. with no weapons to speak of and my army resplendent and yet you live and I die you lack the conviction to win mm -hmm. uh, do you have a key? yay Escape the area and hide. Yeah, I need this one. But let's do the fragment first. Yeah, I should really use more smoke bombs when I'm overrun. Top of this thing, okay, still not everything. Howler monkey. Do I need howler monkey for anything? I need red howler monkey. Thank you. 
the plantation master. The master in the north field is known to be an unusually cool and sadistic slave trader. Kill him. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Switching to stealth. Wrong one. Can I change? Yes, I can change. Kill him with an axe. Kill him with the axe. <laughs> Again. I've got a good line on him. I've got a shot. And take the shot. Not what I meant. Good. Best way is to have his men kill him instead. That one. Not the chimney, the big tower. You've no reason to be. Keep the That's it, I'm done. Stop him! Cut him off! Oh. I've got a clear shot! Leave me be, I'm no Come on, but Don't lose the tit! Don't lose the tit? Oh, I'm at the warehouse. Spot outside of the danger zone. All over. Remain coming. 
Oh, that was him. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Give me metal. Eh. Nicely, well, this is without the lava. Okay. I got all the rabbits I want. I want this chest. And I'll get this fragment first, and then the contract. Why are you making things difficult? Seriously. Not gonna happen. <clears throat> the guard post, leader of a military outpost in the northwest, is a conf confirmed Templar. Kill him. Okay. Good reason to head back. Yeah, let's fast travel here. Where is it? Why did you lose the marker? Stay out of combat, I don't want your help. This is no place for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Some sort of great policy. Any last word? 
They kill him too fast. Two I can handle. Oh really? That's him? I've heard it said our commander calls Captain Woods. Oh, let's have a word, chum. Faster! We'll not be losing him! Ammo. Ammo. And if I'm already here. Actually, yeah, let's do it from here, I think. This chest. I haven't been inside the house. Both flight slides. I just have to fill the trigger. There it is. Come on. Come on. And then this chest. What are you doing? Just run like a normal person. You! Let me out of. Hey, where do you think you're going? Stop the bastard! Help! Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna stay. Not what I meant. Stay with him. He can't hold me. Faster. We'll not be losing him. Attack his flank. Somewhere inside? How do I get inside? Oh, there's an inside. And the fragment is on the roof. Anything interesting in here? I'm good with fate. Fate and me are in good terms. What? Stand up. How? How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to get that? How 
the hell? What is this weapon? It's... it's too tall. Come on, stand up! It's right there! Okay, I have to check. Assassin's Creed for Black Flag Animus Fragment Prince Mansion. How do I get the animus fragment on top of the chimney? Lawrence Prince Mansion. When you're on the chimney, what you do is hold down the high profile button and you'll get the usual button prompts, jump and drop. Press the jump button without pushing any direction. What? Oh my god! Can't believe you just did that. With me! Party up, lads! He's trying to please! I just have to pull the trigger! Oh, I picked up a knife! Pick up a throwing knife! Interesting. Okay, that's everything over here. There are some shanties here. Tavern. I don't even know where the tavern is. Up this thing and up that thing. I see you. Come here. Ooh, surprised it. Good morning, ladies all. <laughs> Kenneth Abrahams, born 1675, died 1715, born to an upper class family and educated in boarding schools from age 5. Kenneth Abraham learned to fight for himself at an early age. Upon graduation, he entered the army and rose through the ranks, finally meeting the rank of commander. His embrace of order and discipline drew him into the fold of the Templar Order, which offered him influence beyond that offered by his military career. From the age of 30, he ascended its ranks to par in parallel to those of his military career by devoting himself to the promotion of order and peace. He remained until his death, determined to rid the world of unpredictable and disorderly elements. Sounds like a fun guy! By order and peace, bo do order and peace bore you? Are you overworked? I can set up an appointment with our in-house therapist. Peaceful, orderly, me? No, I love this job. Mind ruins can be found throughout the Yucatan Peninsula and Central America. This last civilization flourished from 250 to 900 AD. This is one of the civilizations that just disappeared for no reason. 
Well, they're still around. There are plenty of Mayans in that part of the world with their own culture, but yeah, the thriving civilization collapsed around a thousand years ago. People say it had to do with drought, and I don't think there's general agreement what exactly happened. Dating generally from Mayan classic period AD 250 to 2900, most Mayan ruins can be found throughout the Yucatan Peninsula and Central America. Mayan temples have steep stone steps, say that three times quickly, and a platform at the top for wooden crowning structures. Mayan architecture is composed with a sophisticated eye for decoration, often using wall paintings and elaborate bas relief stone carvings. Mayan arches forgo the use of a keystone, instead creating a triangle-like arch known as a corbel vault. Hmm. Isn't this a civilization that disappeared for no reason? Or is that the Incas? There are plenty of Mayans still living in the part of the world with their own rich culture, and a modern form of Mayan is still spoken there today. But yeah, this one's time civilization reached its height around 900 AD before collapsing suddenly and declining slowly over the next few hundred years. I say it had to do with drought or short sighted agricultural practices, but I don't think there's a standard agreement about what exactly happened. In any case, the last Mayan settlement was wiped out at some point in the late 16th century, about 40 years before the period was starting. All the shanties. Okay. I wanted a howler monkey. I want a red howler monkey. It's just lying there, eating stuff from the trees. Come on, I was just shooting a monkey. Why did you have to get killed over a monkey? Oh, little monkey skin. Not exactly what I had in mind. Okay, and it's specifically Red Howler Monkey. Fine. Manuscript. Fast travel. This is fast travel to the other end of the island. Got it. I wasn't really good at making fences the, that time, right? Introductio Geographica An image of Jacob's staff taken from the Introductio Geographica by Pitus Apianus Nymphs by a fountain, erotic painting by Peter Lelai that gave birth to the great British nude during the nation's Puritan period 
gold wall from the Istamian region represents a crowned half human, half bat figure flanked by four crocodile heads. An English long case clock displaying hours, minutes, moon cycles, and the times of the high tide around London Bridge. Taina, deity used in hallucinogenic rituals, depicts the rain giver with magical tears. Twin birds crafted for protection, first named Achilles by Christopher Columbus when he sailed along the West Indies coast of Central America. An elaborate golden container meant to hold a Goa stone, man made balls of precious stone com compounds used as medicine. And then I will go across the river. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's how you get to an island in the middle of nowhere. going on? Where is that? The soldiery? Oh, who's this? A killer? <coughs> oh, come on, don't run away from me. Just run around the building. Come on, move. Okay, synchronize, and that'll be it. Thanks for watching, see you next time, stay good, have fun, and I'm done.